So you might be running into this problem where for some reason your iPhone is unable to activate your eSIM. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part though, is making sure that you're following the instructions if there are any on your display. So if it says something like you can try again or contact your carrier for assistance, the first thing I'd recommend doing is trying again. Sometimes if your iPhone, you know, Wi-Fi signal is cut off, your internet's not working randomly, that can cause some issues in and of itself. So I'd recommend just going through and just trying it again. Chances are it might end up working and that's probably all you're going to have to do in this particular case. Now, if you do that and that's still not working or you're running into some issues, the next thing I'd recommend doing is making sure that you're scanning the QR code right or it's being activated right, depending on how you're activating your eSIM. You may just want to go and try rescanning that particular you know, QR code again or whatever, because that can probably end up fixing the problem in and of itself as well. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, the next thing I'd recommend doing on top of that is contacting your carrier. If your eSIM is completely not working, really the only other option you have is to go ahead and contact your carrier. So go through, if you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, whoever you have, just go ahead and give them a call and go ahead and just let them know that, hey, my eSIM is not working. And you may just want to go and make sure that your phone is even supported on that particular eSIM. If your phone is not supported on the eSIM, that's going to be a problem in and of itself. But just go ahead and try that out. And chances are that will probably end up fixing the problem for a lot of people. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, what I'd probably recommend doing is going through your normal iPhone setup. So just don't activate the eSIM yet. You can always activate it later. Go until you get into this panel on your particular iPhone. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to open up your particular iPhone settings. So come into this panel. You want to scroll down until you see general, which is right here. Click on software update and go ahead and just update your iPhone. Updating your iPhone is another very big important thing I'd recommend doing. And then you want to go and try inputting that SIM card again. Sometimes it may just be a software issue that you ran into, but that's another thing you can try doing as well. If it's still not working, contact your iPhone carrier and they may end up being able to fix it for you. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.